welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel today's lecture is also a part of our uh, physiology uh, lectures in general and muscle physiology in particular we are discussing about uh, muscle physiology by different videos uh, and we are focusing these videos as per the questions asked in the previous question papers because you will ask sir why you are taking so small topics for the discussion because these questions are asked in the previous examination papers of ayurveda bams homeopathy bhms physiotherapy bpth so all these students will be definitely get benefited if they learn this muscle physiology through this very simple and lucid language by professor desh pande today's topic is energy source used for muscle contraction whenever the muscle contraction takes place what are the what is the energy source for that matter so we are going to discuss that particular thing energy for the movement i'm just uh, uh, confirming that we are starting with this point energy for the muscle contraction energy for the movement of myosin head as you know uh, muscle contraction is nothing but a sliding filament theory a uh, sliding filament theory that means there are the sarcomere which is a structural and functional unit this is mcq structural and functional unit of uh, muscle contraction is equal to sarcomere you must remember this and sarcomeres in between z and z line there are the actin and myosin filament myosin is a thick filament myosin and actin is a thin filament so myosin has a head which attaches on that particular actin molecule and stretching towards the middle part of the uh, z line so that is a stretching by myosin head towards the center to actin molecules do you understand so this particular stretching will definitely require the energy because when the myosin head is pulling there is a power and that's why it is also called as power stroke remember this word power stroke is nothing but movement of the myosin head of pulling the actin molecule okay and then this power stroke is obtained by how it is obtained energy breakdown of adenosine triphosphate atp molecule is a energy molecule so there is a breakdown of the atp into adenosine diphosphate that is d adenosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphate that is pi molecule this is a biochemistry try to understand atp is broken down to form adp and pi that is a phosphate molecules let us move further head of the myosin has a site there is a special space for atp molecules they are preserved over there actually the head itself can act as enzyme atpase because energy conversion will require the enzyme and this particular atpase is responsible for breaking of atp molecules and catalyze that means giving the support catalyzation is a support for the breakdown of atp molecules so head itself is acting as enzyme this particular word is important even before the onset of contraction the atp molecule binds with the myosin head that is always connected together okay when tropomyosin moves to expose the active sites the head is attached of course the head of the myosin is attached to the active site of actin molecule okay now atp pays cleaves atp into adp and phosphate molecule which remains in the head itself after breaking down also the energy released because whenever there is a breakdown of atp <clears throat> it is like a bursting of the firecrackers atp is a energy molecule at a bomb and it is bursting and giving you the energy released during this process is used this energy is used for the contraction purpose now when the head is tilted head is tilted like this head is tilted the adp and pi phosphate molecules are released and new otp molecule binds with the head actually the myosin head is putting on the actin again going back attaching to the next molecule going back attaching to the next molecule going back this is power stroke power stroke of myosin head to the actin filament okay and naturally every time new energy is required the process is repeated until the molecular contraction is complete 
two Z lines, sarcomere Z lines are coming nearer, then the action is finished. Okay. But till that time, every time myosin head tilt towards back, further back, further back, further back. This action you must remember while writing the question uh, answer sheet. Deshpande is making his video with the, some actions on the face and the hands. Okay. During the muscular contraction, the supply of energy is from the breakdown of ATP. Repeatedly, I am telling you the same thing. This is broken into ADP and inorganic phosphate and energy is liberated. You must write down this particular equation in your examination. ATP is converted to ADP and PI and here energy is generated. Energy liberated by the breakdown of ATP is responsible for the next activities, a series of activities. What are, what are those activities? Number one, that energy will be utilized for action potential. Spread of action potential in the muscle. Resting membrane potential RMP changed to action potential. You know this the, uh, particular uh, uh, molecular physiology huh? into the muscle. But that action potential should spread. The spreading will require some energy. Number two, function of energy. Liberation of calcium ions from the cisternae of L tubules into the sarcoplasm. I think this is another video that I have uh, on my playlist. I am always remembering you on my Ayurveda Academy channel, you must go for playlist. Don't forget this. Playlist is very important because then you can find your uh, interest in topic. Whether you are a common man, then you can pick up Ayurveda for all. This is, this is the name of the playlist. If you are for the research student, there is a special subject in the playlist, research methodology and medical statistics. If you are the Marathi speaking people, you can go for a daily health tip, Dainandi Narogya Gata. So there are different videos on my channel. Uh, just I want to remember you that for this purpose, you have to check the physiology and Kriya Shari. This is the name of the playlist topic where you will get all these videos. Okay. Liberation of calcium ions from the cisternae of L tubules into the sarcoplasm. So liberation of calcium will also need the energy. Next, movement of myosin head. I have already repeatedly telling you, movement of the myosin head and number last is a sliding. Sliding. Huh? Actin and myosin are sliding over each other. This is called as a sliding theory which makes the, which makes the sarcoplasm Z lines nearer to the uh, middle part. Okay. Next. So these are the four functions you have to remember for the energy functions. Energy liberated during ATP breakdown is sufficient for maintaining the full contraction of the muscle for a short duration of less than one second. Okay. Now, as uh, ATP molecule has been utilized, so there is a responsibility by the nature. It is taking care that ATP is always resynthesized. New formation of ATP molecules, yes, because muscle contraction is a continuous process. So you will require all the time these ATP molecules. So whenever they are destructed, again new ATP molecules will be generated. Okay. I have the separate video on acetylcholine, huh? ACH. Adenosine diphosphate, which is formed during the ATP breakdown, it immediately utilized. The same molecule will be utilized for the uh, resynthesis of ATP. But for the resynthesis of ATP, the ADP cannot combine again with the phosphate molecules. Okay. ADP should combine with a high energy phosphate radical. This is not the same. Another phosphate molecule will be required. There are two sources from which the high energy phosphate is obtained. And these two sources are number one, creatine phosphate and number two, carbohydrate metabolism. This is biochemistry. So by this by this uh, uh, substance creatine phosphate and by the carbohydrate meta metabolism, this ADP will get the new high energy phosphate radical which can be utilized for the ATP resynthesis because they are already destructed, so vanished. Okay. Plenty of creatine phosphate is available by luck, by fortune, by nature in the resting muscle. Okay, in the presence of enzyme creatine phosphotransferase, I am repeatedly every video I am telling you ASE is an enzyme. Whenever ASE word you will see that is enzyme, and 
enzymes are always required for the synthesis, for the generation, for the destruction, anabolism, catabolism, all metabolic processes, you will need some enzyme. And these enzyme names are important for MCQ purpose because this is the name creatine phosphotransferase. It will transfer this creatine phosphate to the phosphate molecules. And which are these high energy phosphate is released from the creatine phosphate. The reaction, this particular chemical reaction is called as a, because this is the name of the scientist, Lohmann's reaction. Lohmann's reaction. Remember this name. Again, it is for MCQ purpose. ADP plus creatine phosphate, it will give ATP plus simple creatine. Okay, this is occurring in the muscle itself. Skeletal muscle we are talking mainly. Energy produced in this reaction is sufficient to maintain muscle contraction only for few seconds. This is a game of a second life. Okay, it is a too fast game and repeatedly all the things are happening in the muscle level. Okay. Uh, creatine should be resynthesized into creatine phosphate and this requires the presence of high energy phosphate. It is again breaking, generating, breaking, generating. From the same degenerated molecules, you get back to the original molecules. This is the, uh, what you can say, the uh, interesting part of this biochemistry. So, the required amount of high energy phosphate radical is provided by the carbohydrate metabolism. So, another uh, mechanisms are helping because whenever there is a lacking of some particles, another metabolic process helps them to combat this because high energy molecules are always required for the formation of uh, ATP molecules or as acetylcholine as well as this creatine and phosphate original molecule. Okay, next. Now we will talk about carbohydrate metabolism. Carbohydrate, sugar, simple plain sugar or the uh, sweets, whatever you are eating is a carbohydrate. Huh? Because we are converting polysaccharide to monosaccharide. And that particular carbohydrate inside our body, uh, that also has some anabolism and catabolic process. Together it is called as a metabolism. This starts with the catabolic reaction of glycogen. You know, glucose and glycogen. Glucose is a fresh sugar in your blood. And glycogen is a stored sugar. Don't forget, there is a difference. Glucose and glycogen. Uh, polysaccharides are converted to the monosaccharide glucose molecules in the small intestine after the primary digestion. Yes, you know this. And then this particular uh, excess of energy, uh, we need the carbohydrate for instant energy of our body. Whatever I am talking, I need energy and that is coming through the carbohydrate from my uh, blood. 80 to 120 milligram is always sugar is maintained in the blood. That is utilized for the energy purpose. But some energy is always in excess and that is stored in the liver as well as in the muscle. And that stored sugar is called as a glycogen. Whenever we need a fresh sugar, blood sugar is less, then glycogen is converted to glucose. In the resting muscle, an adequate amount of glycogen is stored in the sarcoplasm, the cytoplasm of the muscle. Each molecule of glycogen undergoes breaking catabolism to produce ATP molecules. The energy liberated during catabolism of glycogen can cause muscular contraction for longer period. This is the difference that we talked about creatine in phosphate metabolic process and here we are talking about carbohydrate. This energy is a long-standing energy that gives you the longer type of muscle contraction. Okay, uh, We will talk about the carbohydrate metabolism again because we want to resynthesize the ATP molecules. The first stage of catabolism of glycogen is via glycolysis. Lysis is a breaking. We are breaking glycogen. Stored energy molecules are broken down and fresh sugar is generated. It is called as a glycolytic pathway. Lysis is always a destruction. Okay, breaking down. Catabolism. This is also called as emden meyerhoff pathway. This is the name of the scientist. Emden Meyerhoff pathway. These are all questions for MCQ purpose. Scientist name, any figures, any numbers, any definitions. This are all part is important for multiple choice question. Remember this thing. Now, ne next is a there is a Cori cycle which is also called as anaerobic glycolysis. This is, these are the names of the scientist. Cori cycle, anaerobic glycolysis, and there is a Krebs cycle which we learn from the 12th standard. Krebs cycle is as, as a 
aerobic glycolysis where when we require the oxygen direct directly for the metabolic process that is called as aerobic and what is the metabolic process taking place without oxygen they are called as a anaerobic simple difference you must remember aerobic with oxygen anaerobic without oxygen that particular transformation process or metabolic process glycolysis here what is the process glycolysis glycogen is broken down okay krebs cycle this is the aerobic glycolysis very famous very popular you may get a separate question in, uh, like saq or laq or describe the krebs cycle uh, that we will take an another video for that matter krebs cycle is a series of reactions by which acetyl coenzyme that is acetyl coa is degraded step by step to form what is the last product carbon dioxide co2 and hydrogen atoms h2 huh? co2 and h2 is the last product of this metabolic process through the krebs cycle okay multiple that means uh, uh, multiple carbohydrate molecules are coming towards the single molecule and finally the last part is a co2 and h2 all these reactions occur in the mitochondria this is a powerhouse of any cell mitochondria huh? cell organelle part of the cell during the krebs cycle two molecules of atp and 16 atoms of hydrogen are released this is mathematical equation hydrogen atoms are also utilized for the formation of atp all this discussion is going on around the atp molecule remember this huh? energy molecules okay adenosine triphosphate from each glycogen molecule in the muscle during glycolysis two molecules of atp during krebs cycles Two molecules of ATP, but by utilization of hydrogen, 34 molecules of ATP can be generated, and total there are 38 molecules of ATP in the process of muscle contraction. They are needed. Okay, this is again a muscle contraction uh, energy requirement. How it is fulfilled? That I have uh, already mentioned that this is a blood a capillary, and blood is here. Glucose is present in the blood, and uh, it is stored sometimes in the muscle as a glycogen. Here you can see. The glycogen glucose is stored in the glycogen okay so the breaking down of this process of glycolysis that i have already explained some lactic acid waste product has been created by in the process of metabolism here you can see oxygen is used and so it is oxidative phosphorylation fatty acids are also helping for this particular process of phosphorylation okay here amino acids they are also entering to give the helping hand okay carbohydrates they are supplemented with some fatty acids and also with the proteins to generate the ATP molecules okay so here you can see the oxidative phosphorylation is a process and then here you can see the myosin ATPase huh? uh, this is used for in the process of contraction and here you can see the creatine phosphate molecule is also uh, giving producing uh, the ATP molecules okay but ATP is divided into ADP and PI phosphate molecules I think this is uh, what we have already discussed uh, long uh, in the last few slides. It is given in the pictorial formation. My dear friends, this was the video regarding the how the energy uh, uh, required is fulfilled uh, in the process of muscle contraction. This is the question always asked in your uh, examination of the physiology subject, okay, muscle physiology. Uh, my dear friends, please like this video as usual. I request all the things, share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell button icon to get the interesting videos from professor deshpande in a very lucid and simple language i wish all the best see you in the next video thank you